Erica here, California Lucky. I am your next stop at the Secret Not Secret Kid Club's Telephone Hop, where it's all about playing the game of telephone with scrapbooking layouts. Here is Miss Ronnie's beautiful page she sent me, and I just love the colors, lots of little embellishments, and even some mixed media. So, I like to mix things up, I'm a bit of a rebel, so what I did is I tilted her page on its side and I doubled the amount of photos that she used on her page. She also has a strip of paper going down her page vertically, so I'm going to take that bar and shorten it and actually use it to separate all four of my photos in kind of a grid style sort of layout. And I think that middle bar is where I'm actually going to put my title. Most of the paper that I'm using on this page today is actually uh, from the coordinating paper pack for Live Happy. I'll link it down below. It's absolutely beautiful because I love rainbows. So I'm definitely having a lot of fun digging into it. So when it comes to mixing pattern papers, my rule of thumb is pretty simple. I pick a very colorful sheet of paper, and then I try to find sheets of paper that coordinate or complement the shades in that colorful paper, but don't stray too far from the primary shades that I'm looking for, and don't include other random colors. So for example, I have my main rainbow piece here. I back my photos with yellow, orange, dark purple, and dark teal papers. So they are patterned, but they don't have any other crazy colors in them other than those main shades if that makes sense. So, uh, yep, that was my pepper jack quesadilla that I used to focus my Vicky Booten Daiquiri Ice Acrylic Paint. Uh, you know, I have a toddler and sometimes when you have small children you gotta multitask and I really wanted to get some crafting time in. So I've mixed it with my modeling paste and I was worried that it would lighten the paint a lot and actually didn't. It did quite well. So I'm just applying this through, I believe, also Vicky Booten Heart Stencil, which I absolutely love. I'm trying to cut back on my single-use paper products and ever since my daughter was born I have been making these cotton flannel wipes. They're 8 inch by 8 inch squares and they do great in the wash. They're great for actually helping me clean up after my mixed media messes. So if you're interested in giving one a try, leave me a comment, I'll reach out to you and I'll send you a complimentary wipe. So now that my modeling paste hearts are done, I'm taking some watermelon ice acrylic paint by Vicky Booten and I'm adding a quite a bit of color, sorry, water <laughs> to the color to make it splatterable, if that's a word. And the paint is pretty thick, so as you can see here, I had to add a lot of water, but I thought it gave it a perfect contrast to the textured hearts. Plus, I've really been on this splatter kick, I feel like, this whole year. Anyways, so now I'm backing my photos with some foam adhesive tape to give it some lift and dimension, and I think I want to place them in a bit of a grid format, using that middle rainbow piece as a title spot. My paper did buckle a little bit, so I'm having a bit of a struggle trying to get these squares to be symmetrical, but I think I, I worked it out after a while. And because it is one of my videos, I am fussy blading out a part of my title. I just think it's super fun. And I'm inking that as well because uh, another rule of thumb of mine is if I'm going to ink one thing, I have to ink everything. And thank you, Shamel, for teaching me that. It is truly something to live by. I'm using both of these alphas to help complete my title, and I believe they are both Felicity Jane alphas. I really like the top one because it has that white outline, and I just think it, it looks really neat against that colorful paper. And the second alpha actually has a very tiny white, almost stitched look to the outside, so the contrast isn't as stark, but again, it's all about complementary and coordinating, not necessarily matching, so it's perfect. That little I love you fits perfectly right above the smoothies. And while I'm fussy blading additional things out and just embellishing the page and making my clusters, I will tell you the background story to this page. When I was little growing up, my father was always into juicing fruits and veggies. And as a small child, that might not have been up my alley always, but it is a habit that I learned. So by the time that I 
lived on my own, it was something that I sort of gravitated towards. So I try to have a smoothie at least every morning and it's very simple. It usually starts off with a banana, maybe some rock cow powder, a couple dates, and definitely some greens, either kale or spinach. My rule of thumb when it comes to smoothies is if you have a ripe, and by that I mean speckled, banana, it can cancels out the flavor of the greeniness of kale or spinach or what have you. So that's basically the background story to the page. Now I'm going to journal the story around the entirety of my page because I definitely wanted to include the story and that's pretty much it. I hope you enjoyed the video, I hope you liked the layout, and I hope this inspired you today. Leave me a comment, say hello, I'd love to hear from you, I hope you have a beautiful rest of your day. Oh, 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 oh